Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business Podcast, where each episode we will be walking through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In this episode, I want to discuss business cards, chotskis, car wraps, advertising, all that stuff. A lot of people always ask, Tammy, I need to get all these things to tell people that my business is open. This is going to be a short episode because here's what I'm going to tell you. You do not need to go out there and spend all of this money on these Chotsky little things for your business. Is it good to have a business card? Yes. Is it good to have car magnets? Yes. Is it good to wrap my vehicle? Absolutely. But that is more in the future. I'll come back to that one. But you don't need to have fancy pins to give out and all this other different stuff. Listen, the biggest thing that you can do to get your business up and running is word of mouth. And as far as a business card, yes, you can go on, you can get some business cards. A lot of people aren't even using business cards anymore. They're just doing it. The best thing you can do is grab somebody's phone and key it in. However, having business cards is something that is helpful that you can give out. You can leave places, you can hang places, uh, you know, investing that $1,500 in those business cards aren't necessarily going to be a bad thing. But do you need them in the very beginning? Absolutely not. Can you bootstrap? And eventually when you start making some money in your business, get them? Absolutely. Uh, So it's not one of those must haves, but it's a nice to have kind of a situation. In which case you can create them very cheaply. You don't even have to be creative. Uh, If you go to like, for example, Vistaprint or something like that, you can design it right there on their website and just make a basic one. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, You really don't. Uh, You can go onto canva.com, which will allow you to design out one as well. Uh, You can design out a, a and matter of fact, you can even go online and buy them for a printer where you can print up your own business cards if you only want to have, you know, you know, a couple, about 50 of them or a hundred of them, you can actually do it that way as well. Uh, But once again, they're not necessarily must haves. People ask, okay, well, how about a uniform or something like that? You know, even if you just go out and you wear the same color every single day until you can get your logos put onto a shirt, you don't need to go out there and spend $1,500 on some shirts and stuff like that in the very beginning. Does it add a level of professionalism? Absolutely. Is it a must have? No. Is it a nice to have? Yes. Once again, almost every single thing that would fall into this Chotsky category are going to be things that are nice to haves, not need to have. You need to be clean. You need to show up professionally. You don't necessarily need to have that logo sitting on whatever clothes that you show up in. The big thing that I think that happens is people get in their head and they delay opening their business because they think they need all of these chutsky little things. And my main purpose of this particular episode is to tell you there's very few things you need to get business. You need to just have the equipment you need to start basic and get going everything else you can bootstrap, you can save up your money, you can buy those things. But it all comes down to nice to have versus need to have. So when you're planning out your business, please do not get hung up on this particular thing. Like we've talked about in all the previous episodes, there's ways that you can do things for very cheap and not have to go spend a lot of money on. Please make sure you're doing all the stuff that is free, like Google your business. You're going to get way more from Google your business than a bunch of business cards. All right. So please make sure you don't go spending money on things that you don't necessarily need right away. Now, I do want to talk about this car wrap really quick because it comes up a lot. I am a huge fan of car wraps. Now, they're very expensive though. All right. They're going to cost anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars. So in the beginning, if you want to have something on your vehicle, because I'm a very big fan of that because that's the most eyeballs that you have looking at you, get the magnets. You can do those on Vistaprint local. If you've got a local printer, they can make you up a, a magnet. Uh, they usually cost between 50 and 100 bucks. And once again, the main thing is it's going to have your logo and in, in the basics of what you do. Don't put 50 million things on there. Once again, just put one or two things. 80% of your business is coming from what specific thing. That's what you want to advertise. But when you can save up your money for a car wrap, and the reason that a car wrap is so wonderful is once again, it's all about those eyeballs, especially in your community. And when you're driving around town, in one of those vehicles with a car wrap, people are going to see you over and over and over. They're going to start associating you locally and they're going to start learning more about what it is that you do. So when they have that pain point, because people don't need you till they need you, they're going to think of you. 
And even though they're expensive, let's just say it's $8,000, those things last for five, six years. And when you divide it out by month, you're talking 50 bucks, 100 bucks a month. And there is no advertising in the world that you're going to get a better return on your investment than you are a car wrap. But once again, you're not going to be able to come out to shoot doing a car wrap. So it's one of those things that you're going to have to save up your money. So to me, you're better off saving up your money and doing a car wrap eventually versus wasting it on pins and chotskis and stuff that you can hand out to people because you're just not going to get the return. Uh, if you're like me, you get tons of, I get tons of those little chotsky things and they all end up either in the trash or in a drawer or on a desk somewhere. And never, I don't pick them up and go, oh, I really should call this business. That's just not the way that it works. Uh, that's a scam that marketers use all the time to let you know that people are going to remember you and give you a call. And the reality is, unless they're holding that object at that time, they're not honestly going to remember you. Uh, so just be careful where you spend that money. So this is a quick episode. It's just more of when it comes to all these really neat gadgets and things that you think you need or shirts or, you know, uh, business cards and all that. Uh, it really depends upon your business and you just have to ask, ask yourself, how do you plan to use them to grow your business and will you get that return out of your investment? And you don't need them to start doing what it is that you do. You can always get them after the fact. All right, with that, I will talk to you on the next episode. And for those of you that think you're going to need employees, you're not going to want to miss the next couple of episodes uh, because we're going to talk about employees really quick. And for those of you that don't think you need people, you might want to listen if you think you're going to have uh, help because it's still going to help you out because there's certain things of do's and don'ts that you want to be careful of. All right. With that, I'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye for now.